Hey guys, it's Amber, and I am jumping into our next layout here for this California album. So this couple page spread will be about visiting the WB Studios. Uh, I was super excited to go visit here. I actually ended up taking a ton of pictures, but I tried to just narrow it down to a couple that like helped tell the story. So on the first page, I have like an intro photo of what the grounds look like, pictures of us near like a Bugs Bunny statue, um, a, a photo of the tram that we rode around in, um, let's see, a photo of the set of the Friends Cafe. Friends wasn't filming or anything at this time, but like the cafe set is saved, so I have a picture of that and one of the studios, just to give me an idea of the things we looked at uh, while we were there. Some of the buildings in one of like the alleyways. And you can see there, I'm trying to figure out how to include that ephemera. It's like a photo pocket that looks like a tram so I thought that was kind of fun I'm still trying to find the right uh, page protector that I can add that into I don't want to punch holes in it or it won't be able to open so for now it's just tucked away inside another uh, page protector for safekeeping so here I'm grabbing I started to look for a vertical 4x6 photo protector page protector sorry I'm going to cut four of the pieces off and use just the two on the left hand side there to add a couple vertical photos in. Um, it's a trick I do a lot when I do 9 by 12 albums or even 12 by 12 albums when I need to include a lot of verticals but I don't want to have an entire page and in this case because it's a 6 by 12 album I can only use two rows. So uh, I'm including our parking ticket and our, my pass and then some pictures of me in front of the statues and uh, a picture of one of the water towers that's on the WB lot. And that'll pretty much be a very simple page. I haven't really added any embellishments. I've, I've been adding a few embellishments to this album here and there as they come to me, but I plan to go back through at the end and really add stickers and chipboard and things. Right now I'm just, I have so many mini stories to tell because of all the things we did and it was like a 10 day trip. I'm, I'm really just trying to fill the pockets. So here I was just deciding what order I wanted to put these in, if I wanted that insert to be in the middle or on the front. And I think I'm gonna end up putting it on the front. And you can see there, I'm looking at that tram photo holder again, just trying to decide what I'm gonna be doing with it and getting a measurement so I know how large it is. So I decided for my friend's visit journaling to create my own digital card there. So I used Allie Edwards digital word art from the Friends story kit. I could have found the Friends logo, but it was not super important to me. So I just picked like a dark brown color because the photos both have a lot of strong browns. So I added the digital word art, added some of the Eveleth font that says set visit for some continuity throughout the album. And then I just used Ariel for my journaling, just talking about how we couldn't interact with it but it was like really surreal seeing it and it was really fun and I'm just getting it trimmed down a little bit because it was slightly too tall which sometimes happens when you print at home and just made for I almost did it with white with like black font and then I realized you know what I can add a little bit of color by making it blue and then on the left hand side, or not on the left, but on the left page protector, I'm gonna be adding kind of like a top five memories of things that we got to do that day. Like we got to see the Harry Potter Museum, but we couldn't actually take pictures in it. Um, but we got to see like the cars and everything. So just adding all those memories. And then on the back hand side, we had what was, what we called like our own cupcake wars. We visited like four cupcake places in 10 days and we, for consistency, we try to red velvet at every one because they always have red velvet. But um, this was a place called Dots Cupcakes in South Pasadena, and they are very good. Um, but what I did there is I had a 4x6 pre-printed like way back a year and a half ago when I printed these photos of the storefront. And since I'm doing these as pocket scrapbooks now, I didn't want to include only one 4x6 photo, so I reprinted it down to a 3x4. I considered cropping it so I had shown you my 3x4 cropping card but it just would have cropped out too much detail so it's just easier sometimes to reprint. So I'm just backing those two cards back to back doing a little trimming and then um, 
on the left upper left hand corner there you see I have a business card that's like folded in half from Dots Cupcakes on the inside it has their menu of flavors and what days of the week they have them and like information on like the uh, couple locations that they have as well I believe and I had considered having like a see-through 4x4 pocket for these but because I'm going on to the back of this layout from the WB Studio Tour I ended up just folding it in half and tucking it into the pocket so I'm going to grab some pink basil card stock that actually matched the colors very well I happen to have in my stash and instead of using my trimmer to cut off like a big chunk I just used my uh, simple stories 3x4 photo card template to cut a piece off and then I'm just going to mount that to the back of the photo that's on the other side of the pocket and then I'll just be simply tucking my card inside and I considered I had two copies of the business card I considered taking a punch and punching out their logo but I it was kind of like it's such a small layout there's nowhere else to really put it without it just having a business card and the logo like right there side by side <clears throat> So I'm going through my label collection here and I'm trying to find a pink label that I can put at the bottom left hand side of the bottom photo there. We only got three cupcakes and there's some like pink tissue paper that I can kind of cover up a little bit with a label saying um, what flavors we got and which one was our favorite. So I'm just thumb thumbing through those. Found one that would work kind of within the color scheme. And I'm just putting it off the edge a little bit there. I might try to find like a little round chipboard or puppy sticker to put on top of it. I just did not do it while I was writing here. So I'm grabbing my slip writer pen and I need to start it on a scratch piece of paper before it'll let me write on the label. So I'm just finishing up the journaling there. and just sliding that back into the pocket. And, oh, actually, you know what? sorry, I totally forgot. I took a tiny little puffy heart sticker from the Ali Edwards family, because it was like a brown color. It kind of went with the, the colors of the photo. It was a brown little tiny puffy heart that I added to the top. And then I'm just going to attach those two side by side. Alright, so for this next part here, I'm dealing with the tickets that are in the vertical layout. Um, I Sometimes if I had printed from home, the back of the photo paper would be plain white and I would have just added the tickets to it. But it, these were printed from another company, so you could see like the photo like Fuji film or something stamped on the back. So I just grabbed over like a light gray basil cardstock because it was more of like a creamier color. It went with the photos. And then I just mounted the photo to it, trimmed it everything down, and then used some rolling adhesive to add the tickets. So there you can see I've got my tickets, our intro to the WB, and our cupcake stop. So I'll leave you with a few photos of close-ups, and thanks so much again for watching. Bye!